on uh, part A, right? The area is a function of H and talk about how we can use that function to find the maximum area of the isosceles triangle. So here's the isosceles triangle. Uh, the circle has a radius of 14 and I've drawn in this base of the isosceles triangle and labeled its two, uh, the bisected uh, base as having components X and X. And this distance right here is the H that we're talking about. So the area of the isosceles triangle is one half the base, which is 2X, times the height, which is this 14 plus this H. The problem is we want this in terms of H. And this little triangle over here, which I'll call triangle 1, it has a relationship x squared plus h squared equals 14. So x squared plus h squared equals 14 squared, I should say, 196. And so x squared is equal to 196 minus h squared. So x is the square root of that. And since we are dealing with segment lengths, we'll take the positive square root. And by the way, if this chord was above the diameter, then h would be a negative number. But the diagram shows h is a positive number. Uh, so what we want to do is substitute this value for x into the formula for a, or area. And so as a function, we're saying the area of the isosceles triangle depends on h. These twos cancel out. x is the square root of 196 minus h squared, which I can write this way, times this h plus 14. So there is your function for the area of that isosceles. Thank you.